Again, what the rabbi said last week, Hilchas Pesach, there's the Locha department and Minig department. And it's incredibly important to know what is a Chumra, what is a Minig, what is, you know, I unfortunately predicted 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, because of the great Chumras of Pesach, there was going to be a rebellion. And I see it. When I first came to my shoe, um, that was uh, quite a long time there, but it's a very wealthy shoe. So they began, instead of making pace of themselves, go to a hotel. I never knew how expensive it is. But I sat on Dintoida three years ago, where a lady called one of the catering to Dintoida. She paid $103,000 <laughs> for her family. <laughs> Uh, was it with the grand gift? Yes, grand gift. The tell you was because she thought there's not going to be gebrachts and there was gebrachts. Anyways, the and point is, is uh, and the po now just so explaining. So why why would a person gebrachts uh, is oh to be uh, see them make sure that the matzahs don't get wet. They don't make matzah balls. Gebrachts means that uh, it's a Yiddish word meaning they take matzahs and soak it in the soup. Like, uh, so, so many do, many, many do. The Chumrah starts, I'll soon explain where the Chumrah starts. I want to show them. Yeah, that I mean, most, the Svardim don't have that Chumrah. Not only the Svardim, many of the Ashtar Soifa himself was mocked to eat matzah ball on Pesach. But I'll explain it in a minute. I just want to explain what, uh, what happened was because people think, now this is uh, amazing. The, why don't you want to make your own Pesach? It's so difficult. Why is it so difficult? We have every Chumrah in the book. So I go to a hotel, we have to be signing the heavy killer in the book. <laughs> because in a hotel, there's no way you could have won. There's no, no way. There's no, no. I, I, Meshkichim call me. Uh, I could tell you stories. If I have time, maybe next week, I'll uh, hear from the stand up or the stories of the town. Well, it's very heavy to be heavy. I'll tell you a simple story. Last year, Mishgiach calls me up, <coughs> and uh, that's just one story. I tell you, uh, uh, it calls me up. What happened was Ed Pesach, and they realized they forgot to kosher a soup pot. Now I don't know if you know, in catering, the soup pot of catering is works differently in a regular pot. It has uh, every sort of these huge pots. It has heat water. Heat water goes around it. It's a whole different system. It's not a regular pot. It's a pot where you. Uh, it's a kettle. What does it call it? It's, how's it called? Kettle. It's a special. It's, so it's very hard to cash it. They put it aside, thinking they're going to cash it, and they forgot to cash it. This is chicken soup, air pesach, after chutzas, and they call me up. The chomets. Not the chomets. It wasn't there. It was, it was chomets. It was kosher pot. It was a question of chomets. And the guy asks me that the head told them, the Meshgiach tells me the head told them, just be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so he uh, uh, calls me up and he asks me, um, I said there's an Eitzah, so I'll, uh, if I began with this, let me tell you what the question is. <coughs> we ask, let me, let me explain, uh, I saw it in Hilchus Pesach. The din is, becomes uh, That means if I have a little chametz mixed in and, and, and anything, as long as it doesn't give a taste, I'm not allowed to eat it. That means if chametz fell into the chicken soup, if it doesn't get chametz gumma, I'm not you're allowed to eat it as long as it doesn't give a taste. Came the Rabbanon and they said chametz is bamashihu. Because chometz, people are not uh, all year round. We eat bread, 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 bread. So you've made the chumrah. A chometz is b'mashu. That's a chumrah. 
Chazal said it's a bonum. It's only first of all, it's only with the rabbanu. Let's get, let's get things straight. There's now another machlekes when a, when a chometz b'mashi he's not with the rabbanu. There's another machlekes. What happens out of Pesach or the few days before Pesach? It became batul. Do we say choyzer v'neir or we don't say choyzer? You know what choyzer v'neir means? Does it wake it up again? For instance, I have, let, let's talk about a chicken soup. I dropped the chomets into the chicken soup. And we came into the chicken soup, the chomets. Do we say, now Pesach came, the Masha who is in the chicken soup, and he wakes up again. That's called an expression in the Taruv, is choyzer v'neir. He, he, he reawakens. Awakens. So that's a machoikas, and we, I'll get into a little more of learning the Rav here, but generally we paskin that the, it, 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 it is certain times it is choyze v'neir, certain times it's not choyze v'neir. Now here we have a pot that was cooked at a Pesach. Stam kalim is eni ben yoimoy. You know what eni ben yoimoy means? A keli that was used, oh, uh, you have a, uh, let's say I have a pot used by a goy. A goy cooked something for me. You know, if a goy cooks something for you, believe it or not, if it's kosher, if there's no bishul akim, you're allowed to eat it. Because stam kalim is eina ben yoimoy. I try to rub it in, and somehow chabat shaluchim, when I teach them the jets, one of them just couldn't take it. Told them there's a Yerushalma. The Yerushalma says that if you're machmer, and you want to be machmer, have, you know, we like to have chomrits. If a guy says a goy made oil in a goy shekeli, even though it's any ben yom, any ben yom means 24 hours old, so the taste is not a good taste. If you want to be machmer, you call the zuken mamre. You know what a zuken mamre means? You are a rebellious Talmud Chochem. You chayv skila. Uh, that's what the Shalmah says. And let me just say, and I tell him, the Ramam brings it down. You know, I tell him, you know, you are Chabad. The Ramam brings it down. At least he should have learned in the Ramam. Stop killing that if you do not know. If a person saw with her own eyes that a goy cooked with that keli a moment ago, yeah. then you don't no, think no, it's no. Stam keli means we don't know. Stam keli means if you don't know, it's any minyana. We don't know. All right. I just want to explain. So we have now a soup made in a keli. That's an eni ben yoimoy. That means the chumitz is 24 hours. It's nice and time of gam. We paskin that if you take the soup out and put it into another pot quickly, it's very but okay. You're not eating the soup. Pesach is a machoikish in the svardim ashkenazim. You are svardi, right? So the svardim, konte the svardim, a guy cooked uh, um, soup, chicken soup, in a chometz dige keili, no one should faint, a svardi is allowed to eat it. It's any ben yoimoy. We Ashkenazim say that even if it's it's it, if it's any ben yoimoy, it does not gam is also also the chometz. So the, why, just like a mashi is also, we say no, it's the time of gam is also also. So again, so let's take this chicken soup. This chicken soup was cooked in a pot, which pot is any ben yoimoy. Sure, it was any ben yoimoy. So at a pesach, it's not pesach yet. If you pour it into another pot, we don't say choyzer v'neir. So I told them quickly, take the soup, pour it into another pot, and you know, it'll be okay. So why, why is it a joke? Because if that's what you paid $103,000 for. <laughs> you don't want to make Pesach at home because you have every chumr in the book and it's so hard and it's so hair. And this, is a, this, is, this is a small change. I don't, I don't want to go into now. I'm, I'm being recorded. I'll tell you other story. <laughs> Uh, I, I, anyway, so I want to explain this. Uh, why I, I asked the rabbi to, to put a status. I don't know why Chabad people always ask me this question with Gebrachts. Again, Gebrachts mean, I don't know why this is such an issue, but then they always ask me. But what happens is, again, the question is, oh, a guy explained it to me today. And one of the things also in Chabad, they not only they don't have matzahs fall into the soup, but they put it into a bag, right? You eat it in a bag and eat it over the soup. Where does this chumrah, how far is this chumrah, what does it begin? So first let me start a, a, a very important. The Shulchan Rav says, 
in Anuchas Pesach is a bell, so you, I have to say about Peh. There's a, the, when you cut wheat, it's impossible not to have chomets in the wheat. That means it's called chitzen, chitem itzem uh, um, I don't know how you say it in English. In Yiddish, ausgewachsen. How, how do you say when it busts? You know, when the chitten become too, too ripe, it bursts. It sprouts, oh, that's the word. It sprouts. It's impossible. They cut, I don't know if you know, when they cut for matzah, the, the, the weed, I'll just tell you a, a fact, they cut it early. They do cut it early, not to have too much of the sprouted. A sprout kernel is chomets. Let's not go into why, but that's chomets. That's impossible that when you have flour, there's no chomets inside of it. So uh, calm down. This is a fact. <laughs> Why is it but it becomes bottle before, before Pesach, and we and since we make matzah from it, we don't say choyze v'neir because lach balach says all the Pesachim, including the Shulchan Chirav. We don't say choyze v'neir labo and Chabad they take sugar right and they make it into liquid right. Why do you make it into liquid? What difference does it make? I'll explain to you, if we have time, or if you mind me, I'll explain to you where, where the chumrah comes, but we want to make it into lach balach. It means we make it lach. Uh, uh, no, lach means uh, wet, wet. Wet, something that's wet, or anything like wet, flour and flour is also considered wet, does not, be, if once it becomes bottle, it's nullified. So even if Pesach comes, the sugar you have Pesach comes, even though, the, now let me tell you why. Let me explain this. So you'll have a better understanding. Why do we cook the sugar? <coughs> now, also, Chabad, uh, the Shluchim were asking me, do we have to do it today? The, the real reason why they used to do it in the good old days, sugar was an incredible expensive thing in Europe. Today, it's much, it's unbelievably cheap. And they used to cheat. They used to put flour into it. This was a known fact. They used to put flour. And, and um, other times, they put flour to make it more white. You know, we bleach sugar, you know, to help people. You know, you go to a Starbucks coffee, you can get brown sugar. It's not a nest. White is a nest. They bleach it. So they would want it to make it look whiter, they would put flour. So they, the meaning was in Europe, there's nothing to do with Chabad. Anyone who wanted sugar cooked it up. This was why, because it becomes lach balach, liquid with liquid. I mean, it's, 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 a cup, it's water. Everyone agrees that even on Pesach, you don't say Chayzeh That means, Lach Balach. Why is flour considered Lach? Why is flour considered Because it's, it is so small that it's considered, that's how the Rav explains it. It's the, what does this mean? That means when you use the sugar, there's chomets inside of there. Just don't chalish. There's chomets inside. But it was nullified. But it was nullified, they came bottle. It's not Chayzeh V'neir. It doesn't become again, uh, uh, it doesn't wake up. He went to sleep and that's it. It becomes bottle. But because they they held that it has to sugar it has to be like flour it has to be like very very small and some learned that's only if you made it into a matzah you don't say chayzer but flour itself you would say chayzer this is another shlav of chumras shlav means another step of chumras if, if I say something I don't say it um, yeah then it, it shouldn't be a problem right you shouldn't have to cook it. No, no, I mean, th that's another chumra. It's another, but you see you don't have that chumra. Huraya, you make it into liquid. You don't need to make matzah out of it. Okay, you know, I'm not saying. That's, a, that's why they cook the... the but, the yeah, but let me just say, it, this is a huge chumra to cook up. The, I'm not telling you not, not to do the chumras. I just want to explain why is it a huge chumra. Today, today, today. The sugar. They don't put anything to the sugar today. They will be the sued them bobbins bobbin around they're gonna be sued. You know what I mean? They, I mean they would catch them do this, the you know, the domino, whoever this uh, the chalal, and they is ashgocha, you know, the sugar. Many of the sugar have ashgocha because all the guy you know, I have I have a guy who happens to be a doctor today, was a chemist in Dominic. I grew up in Williamsburg. Dominic Sugar was a few blocks away from me. So I had a chemist who used to work there. Happens to be about Shuva, but he told me before he went to medical school to get himself. He said, he said, no one touches anything. 
it's like today, this is 30 years ago. No one, you know, today everything's automated, the thing comes in. He was just, uh, you know, that's the reality. But, so it's a big chumrah, I'm not saying not to do the chumrah, I'm just putting things in, per, in but back pers- in Europe, when they tap it the in, back year was a serious problem. And there were many it people. Was it was even yeah, here it was Yeah, but there because they cooked it. But that's what's cool. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Well, not, not, yeah, they wanted to make sure it's, it just should be uh, should be a lach of a lach of con all shitters. Okay. So that's why they cooked it to make sure all shitters. There were many people in Europe who did not eat sugar. Chal, but chal, but sugar, sugar, pesos. I'm pesos, yeah. They don't want that. Now, now, let, so let's go back again. I want to tell you, in the Zman HaShulchan Aruch, I said this last week, they used to make matzahs on Pesach. Imagine your wife would have to make fresh matzahs. Everyone made their own matzahs. It's unbelievable. The tool says, I like the minig that I hear certain places no one bakes matzahs. I like that minig. The Zman HaTur, uh, I hear the people who don't want to do it because on Pesach there's a lot of problems. So anyways, Bikitsa, so uh, uh, let me go back. So flower in flower becomes bottle. And you, uh, your reality is that our sugar has no chometz. And your matzah has chometz. Has chometz. <laughs> it has, but it became bottle. Because it's impossible to have flour, not to have a little bit of chometz. It becomes bottle because it's called lach balach, flour, flour, or another drag of another chumre. It was made into a matzah. So then it's not a problem. Sure. So now, that's not going to be the problem of Gebrochitz. So I just tell people, you know, people, because one of the questions everyone keeps on asking me about processed food, I always tell them, you're asking me, Aloha mini. I don't like to answer Menogim, but Aloha, you eat matzahs, you eat processed food. It's processed matzahs. It's you're eating. And he says the other things have less problem than matzahs. The main problem of chumets is matzah. And eat matzahs, you can eat other food. Now, soon I'll explain why people do not eat processed food. But let, I want to focus on this Shulchan Ukhrab in this letter. So, the Magid, Mishritza Magid, was the one who instituted this Chumra not to eat Gebrachts. Gebrachts means not, well, let me tell you what it was. The meaning in Cloud so still is the Ashkenazim. I grew up in Ashkenazi Shekehila. The Ashkenazim are uh, the Chsipers, you know, these. Uh, Oberlander, they called that part of Hungary. They ate, we all ate, we grew up eating, uh, ma- uh, put matzahs into the soup. Matzo so, balls. Matzo balls. The whole matzah ball that's advertised, you know, you could buy matzah ball, my wife boys from uh, whatever, ma- to make matzah ball all year round. Where does matzah ball come? You know where pizza comes from? Believe it or not? I'll tell you where pizza, show, a guy, a lady showed me, a cook showed me in a Goetia book. Pizza comes from Italy, what? The bread, the matzahs on Pesach, you know, the, the Svardim say pith. You know, p- a, a tuf is not a tuf, it's a thuf. It's pith. From pith became pizza. And on Pesach, they decided, you know, there's nothing to eat. So they made, they put the uh, cheese and a thing, and that's a pizza invented. So it's a Jewish invention. Uh, <laughs> And matzah ball is also true. On Pesach. It came from Pesach. Uh, um. It's not even Gebrachs. We're going to get this in a minute. I want to explain this. No. We'll get it. Tomatoes is not. But uh, uh, upon a matzah ball was the same thing. So, so what happened was is that they, the, 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 the said not to put matzahs into the soup. And the Shulchan Kharad here is marach. And it's, okay, he's, you know, I, one of the things of, the, uh, the his, uh, of his thing, his shalosh, his shulis, is like a telegram. Ayin shom, ayin shom, ayin shom. Now let me just tell you, the kids what he says. The shoyil asks him, why are you machna? So the rab explains, there's another problem. And not worry, not, don't think that the problem is because in the flower, uh, there's chometz there. There's fl- that because that became bottle already. That became nullified. Not that is. Problem is there's flour there. N- nowadays I have not seen. I've seen it 25 years ago, 30 years ago. One of the reasons I scream at the young people 
which they wanted, I don't know in Chabad to do, but other chassidim, they go bake the omatzes and the... Uh, uh, well, the problem is, when if you don't know how to knead a dough, you know, um, knead, do you say knead a dough? Knead yeah. a dough, you don't do a good job. If you don't do a good job, the flour doesn't get mixed into the, the thing. So when you have a matzah done, you can look at the matzah, you could see sometimes flour on it. If you have very good, if, if it's professional woman who working for months, they know what they're doing, you never have it. I checked a few years, I bought one year Chabad matzahs, I went last year, I bought different matzahs, I never see it. Not saying you should be mako. So the Rav is explaining over here, that flour, even though it was heated, is a machlekes erishonim. The Somi erishonim hold, he brings a Rasha and the Ramban who hold, that if the flour went through fire, it cannot become chomets. Not everyone agrees to that, he says. Hayois, it's a machlekes erishonim. The many erishonim hold, that even though it went through heat, the flour, the Arishonim hold that once the flour went through heat, nothing to worry about. But since some Arishonim hold that even go went through heat, that if it hits water is a problem. So Mamela, he says, that's why the Minig. And he brings this famous Rizal. The Rizal says, if you look at him at base, you see the next page, he says, Uh, first, uh, um, no, I want you to look at uh, I want you to look at the line that starts that's one, two, three, four, five six lines you see from it, it said the first word of the line is Be'isa he says if in the early generation or they made a much longer they, the, when they made the Gilgal, uh, the, they knead the dough. Gilgal means rolling the pin. How you say in English? Rolling the pin. So you roll the pin, he says, and it wasn't a problem. He says, early generation, they, they see nowadays they tried to make it very fast. But earlier, it wasn't. And I want to tell you a big secret. Machine matzahs never has the problem. Because the machine does it unbelievable good. I looked at machine matzahs. He never, because that's a machine that does it, never has a problem. But he says that Rav is saying that till recently, till 20 years before his times, they used to take it easy, so it gets well needed. Since it gets well needed, there is no flour there left over, he says. They make a very quick job. The Elisha Yufa Yufa and doesn't get kneaded well. And there's some flour left over. And Limsa came out the match isakusha knere bechush, lam dagvikim be emas. So then he says, look at the in, in the paragraph, Mukomokoin, he says, E Limchois Bamoy Nama Mekini Gvishesh Lamashi Smoichi, the Ikadas Rasha Rambam, which holds that once it went through fire. It's not going to become chometz. It wasn't the oven, and it got heated. It doesn't. Avol if you mashikusa varis al hachmi kol achimnis be pesach. That if there's opinion that doesn't hold, that the pshit yesh al hachmi kerashdam shepi chudosh. The rashdam was a very early achim, a very famous achim. Mekol mukoyim beyond the racha makeim shim kiyolo hipsit. Now this is the line that I show people because this is what so many people ask me. Ibe may pay this. Pshita dein lahachmi klal kala pesach, and and the jets. This is I don't know why, the last year and this year. And I tell them I don't. I just tell you what Allah is. But the meaning you do, you do it. So the Rav is saying, but they were arguing um, by putting uh, what is it avocado. avocado. Oh, you yeah, know, there's something in Chabad about the avocado. Oh. Oh, that's what everyone talks about. I don't know what avocado. Everyone is busy with avocado. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. This is what the Rav is saying over here. So what the Rav is saying over here that the chum you don't have to machne at all using avocado, cream cheese, pizza. You know, as long as no water. There's no water in cream cheese. No, 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 no. That's not true. That's just a rumor. That's a rumor. The, uh, uh, everything has water in it. Natural H2O. 
But May Paytas, well, let me explain this, let me explain this line. Why is May Paytas not a problem? The Gemara says, May Paytas e Machnitsen. The Gemara says, according to the Gemara, the Svardim have this Kula, the Svardim have, they could make matzahs with May Paytas, with, uh, with apple juice and uh, orange juice, any juice, because Gemara says it never becomes chomets. Yeah, you make mat. You know, for, for, they, they, in the Shulchan Aruch says the Spartan used to eat all the time matzahs made with the uh, we egg matzahs. We Ashkenazim do. That wasn't their matzah. That was just kosher for Passover. Passover. Yeah, not for the, not for not the, for the right. seder. Yes, very, uh, very important what you just said. Not for the seder, but yeah. But uh, the, why are we machma Ashkenazim? Because the Rebbeini Tam Shita is that if a little water went into the May Paytas, then it's no good. And he holds it, it makes it worse. The Rambam doesn't hold that way. There's Machabah Paskins like the Rambam, so the Svadim Ava, we are follow the Ashkenazim. So the Ramos says we shouldn't do it. But on this Chumrah the Rav is saying does not apply May Paytas. So according to this, you allowed to put matzahs into uh, not saying Laloch, I'm just, I know people listen to this, I've been called already. I am, I'm going to have to find myself on the internet. I was, someone else called me already. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm saying not a look. I'm just saying uh, about the, uh, what the, what the Rav is saying la lucha, but everyone has the meaning, the shlul meaning. Is so according to the alocha, you're allowed to put cream cheese, avocado, make pizza. The ch- children love to put uh, cheese and uh, whatever on the matzah. Yeah, the have Chocolate, yeah. <laughs> And also, but, uh, 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 but the Rabbi, there's a distinction between I think what, what and that's what Rabbi Zion is alluding to, which is that sure, may pay us, but you're taking an avocado and you're putting on your matzo or some lemon juice in there, as opposed to you know a processed food that inevitably has outside water in it. That I think that that's. But Rabbi is saying it's mutter to put may pay us. Forget he no, says. I understand, but I'm, what I'm saying is that you're saying that cream cheese is the same as avocado, like. Pure unadulterated avocado, and I'm saying that the average, uh, cream cheese. You know, someone that's going by by the letter here, they would say, wait a minute, that's not Mayperis. Mayperis is, uh, you know, taking some apple or some some some, some avocado and putting it on, where taking a processed food that has outside water and this and that. Doesn't have cream cheese. Doesn't have. I was. I asked about it. Doesn't have outside. Doesn't have. They, they, and to say, let me just say another thing. You know, there's a very Famous rivosh. The, 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 then chometz is b'mashehi. So someone asked me. The rivosh was a rishon. The rivosh was the Talmud of the Rajma. We're going back six hundred years ago. So someone asked the rivosh, "What happens if a guy drops chometz in the yam? I can't take swimming in chalamoy <laughs> b'mashehu." So th- there's a famous word that the rivosh says. Even a mashehu has a shear. It's a famous <laughs> saying. Even a drop, and we say even a drop. It, uh, it, it, you know, when they make cream cheese, it's possible that the drop fell. That's not what the place can meant, the drop, you know, a little bit got wet. That sure doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? Uh, that you, he, what he's saying, you're worried that maybe, maybe the cream cheese original, maybe someone told, argued, I said this to me, I'll explain what you argued. Someone explained to me, maybe you have to worry when they put the cream cheese into big, what's his name, into the, when they mix it, maybe it wasn't dry. It wasn't dry, there was a little water. Even a mashu has a sheep, you know what I mean? If you went to, if you ever went to the, when they make cream cheese, any of these big things, it's a humongous. And if you ever went to these companies, it's, 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 it's not a, it's not like your, your wife in the kitchen. We're talking about uh, things that machines have to pick up, these huge, um, so what you is want, the yeah. The what? The water is the water. No. Same thing. Same thing. If you want to put your record, you have to, that's a, a separate thing. I'll explain that in a minute. I'll explain. Yes, it's my pay. It's my pay. Yes, you can make matzah with milk. The only reason we have a problem making matzah, you don't make milk and matzah. But let me just explain. So the, one of the things people like to do is to make matzahs and put it into uh, a hot milk, a cereal for the children. You know, people tell me that many people have this minute. They put, um, they make uh, coffee with milk and they uh, crush the matzahs and they cook it and children have like a cereal. According to the Rav, as long as you're careful, there's no water there, it's 100% okay. There's no water no, there's no water. That's a, just a rumor. People think that, you know, they put wa- wa- milk into it. 
No, 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 no. That's once you add water, not the natural water, that becomes chomets. Uh, uh, not Yes. Right, right. But it, I, I, I'm not saying you what to do, but I'm explaining the chumra of the Rav doesn't apply nowadays because our matzahs are much. Look at your matzahs. You get, take a look at them. I am convinced even the Chabad matzahs. I, I'm only a special look at them. You they don't see flour on it. It used to be years ago. I remember very clearly. Used to look at it. Used to find flour on it. You don't find it anymore. I don't eat. I don't. Let me tell you. Let me just say a story for the record. No. When I became, let me tell you what happened. When I became rob of the shul and they wanted to make it, I said I am not giving us on it because who comes to bake? Uh, uh, the she's in the busy singing hollow. You know, I'm not, 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 that's not the time. We gotta focus. I, I said absolutely it's and I stopped. That's it became stopped. And he remembers they used to bake their matzahs, and for this reason, because it doesn't come out good, it was chometz gumer. I'm not joking. I am not joking. So that's why you don't bake. You don't bake. You used to bake every ever. Okay, that's one thing I want to say. So, so just, just to um, recap, you're saying that today's matzahs, for the most part, you don't have to worry because there's no flour in there anyhow. Yeah, but and even if you wanted to be worried, I mean, you start the rough, whatever, may pay this is okay. okay. So but I understand the Chabad, the Machna, they pay this. No, but they, people, the people, the boys were telling me that they're home. They don't like, they don't let the put a the, uh, avocado. This is okay. All right. Okay. What? Say. Moshe jelly has water in it. You buy jelly, gel, jelly. it has water. Gel is cooked in water, do you know that? So it does have water in it. Only if you want the mass like the brush, you can't eat that, but if you, you don't care about the brush. Yeah, then you know, eat the... People eat the brush, dip the mass into the soup. Yeah. So no, no. If someone doesn't have the meaning of the brush, is there a reason to say they're not? I mean, if it's, there's no, there's no problem in the It's impossible to answer such a question. But if, if off the record, you don't have to be machma. <laughs> you, know, uh, uh, you know, if a guy doesn't have a mini and uh, just to have chumras, let's keep the real halacha. Now, I don't eat gebracht because or I tell you something. I grew up eating gebracht. I got married to my wife. My wife grew up in a house gebracht was chumras. <laughs> You're eating gebracht? She couldn't. Uh, uh, it's like uh, uh, I'm not Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> what? Milchis chometz? Yeah, but but that's for different reasons. Yeah, the reason, the reason and that's a good question. Why did? Let me explain to you. That's a very important thing. What you just brought. Uh, let me explain this already. Then you know one of the problems of milk was the animal that eats fed chometz. So the there's a price scheme hold that if the milk that you milk the cow on Pesach, you have a no from chometz. A cow who doesn't eat, does not produce milk. It's not that the cow just has to drink. The cow must eat. So now, the cow was fed, you know, cow who eat uh, grain, they eat chomets. So the problem is, so that, but today, no one makes it. We don't have milk in from Pesach. All the milk that we have is from before Pesach. Why did you charge more money? Why not? So, but there has nothing to do. That has nothing to do. But they charge money is just taking advantage of us. But the truth is, the milk is milk before Pesach. 
and there's no problem. You know, many of these chumras have really some. It's just because in Europe there was a problem. Ah, because then maybe you didn't look on things. Right. You couldn't. You couldn't who had a fridge refrigerator? Uh -huh. You didn't have a refrigerator. Because I think you didn't have milk. Because you didn't Processed food. Okay, now let me explain processed food. See? Because now if the cow eats chomets and the milk which the cow produces is, uh, which the cow now produces milk, that milk comes because the animal ate chomets. I have indirect hanor from the chomets. No, 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 not, no, not because, no, it's not being, no, that's important what you just said. One of the books, I don't want to say the name, is a book, he's not alive anymore. One of the Svarim of Hilchus Pesach, the guy writes in it that you're not allowed to have mushrooms. Why? Because you, mushroom is germinated on, on wheat. You know how you make mushrooms, you have to germinate it. You know what germinate, you have to uh, seed it. So, so it's made, um, they take wheat, they're soaking in water. So that's done before Pesach, there's nothing wrong. The meat you eat on Pesach came from chomets. The chomets turned into meat. That's not, we're talking about now. That's before Pesach. Now on Pesach, the cow is eating chomets now. Because it ate chomets, it's producing meat. It's a direct uh, uh, milk, I'm sorry. So on Pesach, that's why it's a problem. That's it. It's very simple. That everyone agrees. In Shulchan Aruch it's a machlekes, but we're machmer always in Pesach, so that's why in Europe they didn't drink milk. But today, we buy milk. They, they, we buy milk. They didn't have refrigerators. There was no. the same, same, thing. same thing. Well, eggs. If you make sure the chicken eats corn, and Shulchan Aruch says they used to make sure the chicken ate corn, it wouldn't be a problem. The reason people buy again, very good, are happy, happy you brought it up. Many people are to only buy eggs before Pesach. Right. That's the reason because we don't know what the chicken ate. So the meaning is to buy the eggs because the eggs before Pesach, no matter what the chicken ate, is eggs. So if the chicken ate in Pesach uh, chomets, it happens to be in America, you know what they feed the chicken? Corn. It's much cheaper. Not because it's healthier, it's just cheaper. That's why I, I, I first time when I was young, I went to Exesol, I looked at the egg and the yolk of the egg was white. Yeah. You, and I asked people why, no one knew what to answer me. Then I was, I was very curious and the guy told me, in America, they give the chicken corn, so the egg is yellower. And that's so they give him, uh, whatever they give him, it's not so. Anyways, that's the community coming back. And I, I, he asked for processed food. Can, can I just add a final thing? Sorry. Can people who pick up on Pesach, or for other reasons, because you're going to market, sometimes there's comments there. The more stuff you buy before Pesach, And no, eggs now. Yeah, he's right. Eggs was a paid to because we don't know the. Uh, now, he, now let me explain processed food. You know, everyone has the meaning. The, 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 in Shulchan Aruch it says that if it's now, what is the pro problem in processed food? Let's go back a step again. What is the problem? Let's say chocolate, or let's say coffee, and uh, any of these things. Maybe chometz fell into it. Chometz fell into it. So maybe it should be bottled. Maybe it's a small piece of chometz. And Pesach, it's choy zeven Yes. Uh, yeah, Pesach balach. It's, um, so now, now most of, let, let's, uh, I don't know how to marshal processed food. Uh, have a good marshal? Chocolate. Chocolate. And so, uh, um, so the Shechon Olech says, the Ramos says, if it was Shomo Lishem Pesach, Shomo Lishem, when they made it, it was made sure they made sure the uh, Hashem Pesach, then it's perfectly okay. See, Rabbi, this I want to explain to you. I always tell people, you eat matzahs, you eat processed food. The biggest problem of chomets is matzahs. Not in the coffee, not in the chocolate, not in the jam or peanut butter. We Ashkenaz don't eat peanut butter, but whatever it is, that, the, you know, that's the, the, the you know, the, uh, the reality is nowadays, I just, uh, if you ever go to a company, I, I never do it, but once in a while they ask me to go to, oh, you a few years ago, they asked me to go for merch to go look at a company. You can't even come in. I have a beard. I have to cover myself with uh, 
three, three such masks, you know what I mean? And it, I ha, I, being so tall, they have to look for a special gown because I'm so tall, they didn't have a gown for me and they wouldn't let me in, you know what I mean? Like, you know, but, uh, you know I have to be white and they don't let the, they are very paranoid, not because of the comets, they're paranoid you shouldn't be sued, you know what I mean? They, you know, so they, they, anytime it's Shomel Hashem Pesach, then as long as you have, it's checked out, and we know it's not Chometz, there's no problem. So Me'ikrad Din, if it has an OUP, or it has an OKP, I don't know if the OK makes OKP, I'm not familiar with all those Yochas, if it's processed, then it's no problem. It's just as good, it's better than your matzahs. If you eat matzahs, you can eat coffee, you can eat sugar. So tray sugar is the same, tray sugar, you know, I mean, you don't have to... Now, they would answer that matzahs, the only reason they really eat matzahs well, only right. first night. No, that's right. But okay. but but beyond that, you know, the people that they, they to a certain extent they avoid eating matzah also. Yeah, but, but um, well, that's not. I want to explain something. Another very important thing, my personal opinion: the Torah is not given to make life difficult. That's not. We just saw in Hilchas Shabbos how the poskim made sure you should have panasa. That we're not. You know, why people were machmer in Europe? It was in. You know, you, if you l- l- learn the Shuvah Sachroinim, they were not, they were, they were worried about, the thing wasn't even kosher. But today, with process, the chances to be, at first it becomes bottled, it becomes, it, because all, most often, let's say a chocolate became a piece already, a jam became a piece. I don't, I don't know what other processed food people use, I don't know, I don't know. my mind blanked out. What else do people use based on processed food? Soda. Macaroon, that's for the children. Yeah, well, that's for the children. But I'm saying just for what? Potato starch. And, you know, yeah, that's a potato starch. People that, you know, for this reason, let me explain. I tell people, now, are you going to hear Chiddush and uh, don't faint? You can make uh, uh, Gebrachts kegel before Pesach. Even if you machme, take the thing, because before Pesach, it becomes bottled. What are you worried about? Maybe it's going to, maybe a little hummus, but a flower. So it became bottle before Pesach. That's everyone that agrees there's only a mashri there is going to become bottle. So before Pesach, you like, every matzah. Uh, no, it's not Pesach of Well, if you make it into a kugel, it's not Pesach of It becomes a piece, it becomes like a matzah. So if you make your broth before Pesach, no, but maybe they claim you put it back in, maybe there's still there something that, you know. Uh, that's a very mud mud. But... But many people make kegel, you know. Make, uh, make so you can make kegel from mat- matzah flour before Pesach, and it's hundred percent okay. Now you get people ask me, so why didn't they do it in Europe? Who had a refrigerator? Who had a freezer? Baruch Hashem, our our wives, and I, as I say, I don't have one refrigerator. My wife has an extra refrigerator and an extra freezer. And she's begging me to have another freezer because can I know the end of the she, she, she wants another freezer. I mean, we are blessed, are blessed, are blessed that we can imagine. They didn't have this, so they couldn't have a, 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 a food. So man, if you make your brooks before Pesach, you make a kugel made out of uh, matzah meal, and uh, it's no problem. It's a no problem. So the practice is It's not gebracht. It's un- t- something to be done before Pesach is not gebracht. Exactly. Let me tell you an interesting story. I got married, and my wife is a yeker. I'm a Hungarian. The Hungarians did not eat fish for Pesach. I, was, I didn't know. I was a newlywed. I was 20 years old when I got married. And they didn't eat fish. And my, and my wife didn't eat chicken. And I was going to my shver. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> Eat meat all Pesach? Uh, it's enough we ate potatoes all Pesach, huh? Meat all Pesach. So I went to Bianca Kamenetsky. He was a big Rosh Hashiv, a big Talmud Chochem in Mansi. And uh, my, uh, my father lived in Mansi then. And I went to the Bianca and he says, what should I do? And he gave me a huge smile. Tells me like this, do you know why the Hungarians didn't eat fish in Europe? Because there was no ice. And the Hungarians used to, used to salt the fish. In salt the fish, you know, they used to cheat in salt. They used to put flour into salt, too. So the Hungarians didn't need fish. But that's because they didn't have a freezer. Then he said, you know why the Yakis didn't eat chicken? Because if there's a whole simon in Shulchan Aruch, when you ch- cook a chicken, you find a chitter. 
Yechita means a, 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 a kernel, a wheat kernel. Yes, today, you know, no one gets the chicken with the kishkas. It gets zapped out. It's illegal to sell with the kishkas. So he says, go home, they should eat chicken, and they carry fish. So I tell him, Bianca, uh, you know, what's with the mene? So he takes out a shulchan aruch and shows me the pri chodosh, is a famous achmed sh'darav, constant quotes, and says, if a mini was done for a reason, in Hungary they didn't eat fish because they didn't have a lot of fresh water, didn't have ice, and it was salted, that, 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 that was the only reason you don't have to worry about it. They didn't eat chicken because they worried about, the, the, you know, they used to get a chicken with the whole, you see, you have to remember, you know, we take things for granted. You know, a hilchas yontiv, there's a whole simon when you shecht on yontiv. We choich is shechts on yontiv. Do you know why they used to shecht yontiv chanamoy? No one had a refrigerator. You want to have, when I came to Uman the first time 20 years ago, I didn't understand what's going on. Why does everyone have chickens in the backyard? <laughs> if you went to Russia, many of you guys go to Russia. You went to Russia, you never know. But you never start, uh, uh, why do I have chicken? A half, there's no fridge. So the guy wants a fresh chicken for dinner, he's got to run to the backyard, and, uh, and, and they eat in the shack, and they go and just knock the head off. You know, they're, uh, they're half fresh. See, that, so that was a problem, Pesach. Nowadays, all you get your chicken before Pesach, it's quartered, and it's, uh, it's, uh, and, uh, it's everything. It's, uh, so he was saying that it was a, a minute that was only done because of the son. Of a son. That, made, that doesn't that's not called the minute. The same it's thing, right. The pre -chodesh. So the same thing applies. Many, let's say, sugar. If uh, it, it was done, because in Europe they used to put flour into the sugar. That was a fact. You know, so that's why they did it. Like you said, they didn't eat milk, the Russians, in Pesach, because they, were, they, they, they couldn't have milk, uh, um, not, see, Jew. The, the, one of the biggest, does, does anyone have a pet, a dog here? No. No. Okay. He says, uh, you have a dog? No. Uh, uh, because the, I was going to explain the aloha, because someone, just two people asked me about it. Because that's also, see, having an animal on Yontif, you have to eat hummus, is a real, real problem. Pesach. It's a Jew because you have to give comments. A guy called me up and he tells me my dog is aging and the doctor, doctor the vet, the vet tells him that don't change the diet because uh, I, I made a big mistake a few months ago. My neighbor has a dog and he tells me that uh, he had enough, the dog had an operation because the leg was uh, displaced and it cost him $5,000 to, so I asked him how much does a new poodle cost? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think. Oh, did I get it. <laughs> what, what? You have to speak up. Yeah, Minik was not that. Minik, no. That's the, that makes, that's a good question. Right, this is a good question. Uh, this is a good question, but you asked for that. See, when the Chaz Sanhedrin made Xeda, let's talk of Cholobakim. Sanhedrin made Xeda, and, and, or, or Gvinis Akim, whenever it's Xeda Drabonim, they made it a plig across the board. So, Mamela, nothing helps. No Marshall, let's talk about cheese. Because Cholob, the Moshe has a Cholob, let's talk about cheese. The, the Shulchan Aruch says, that, you, know, you know why cheese is also? People, let me quickly say, Gvinus Akim is also because they use a rennet from an animal to make it uh, a starter. You know, a rennet is from the stomach. That's, it's nevela from an animal, which is nevela. So mele, it's, 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 it's also to eat because it doesn't come bottle, with the rabbanim, it's the rabbanim. So the Ramam says in his times, they're going to Mereh bring down, they, start, they figured out a plant, a chemical. Chemicals was the Ramam. They figured out to make cheese this way too. The Ramam says, once the Chazal asked it, they was across the board. So it done, when it's an head and asked something, they made a call because things change all the time. A mini became a mini for a certain reason. No marshal. You should know that. The, the Poiskim speak, we Ashkenazim don't eat beans and rice. So the Poiskim talked about an early stage of the mini, how far was this mini? The reason they didn't have this mini because uh, the big machloik is why with this mini. So when it was the hunger they ate and the child is sick, I have, I have adults who have to eat rice. I have a lady who's allergic to, to all grains. She suffers terrible from allergies, and the only thing she can eat is rice. 
So she eats one size matzah, first night, second night, she doesn't eat matzah. She gets a terrible reaction. So it's not chometz, chas v'sholem, it's only a mini. But if it be a derbonim, she couldn't eat it. If rice would be an isa derbonim, there's no way she wouldn't want, she'll have to eat potatoes and who find out other things to eat. But it's a mini comes for this reason. The mini was not to eat fish for this reason, chicken for this reason. You know, that, then the, the sugar or milk or process. Process food they didn't eat because it says shechonor, it has to be shomer, the shem pesach. That means you have to make sure when you do it, you don't uh, have in mind. All these companies who say OUP, they checked it out and they know for sure that it's absolutely nothing to worry about. Many people have a mini that you will spices on Pesach, right? Uh, many, many people. Garlic. garlic. So the reason was because we don't know who, who cut the garlic, but if it comes with Ashgacha, they make sure that the, you know, they, you know, the, the stuff. No, no, no. No, no, just make sure that, see, we, we, that we Ashkenazim will machmet. If it's processed food, don't watch it. Maybe they ate bread over it. How do you know they didn't eat bread over it? So maybe they, we have to worry. That's a big chumrah, but that's how it was, the minig that I'm moving down. But if they, it was checked out, there is no minig. People are asking about orange juice. So I tell them, if you buy orange juice before Pesach, anyways, a guy told me the orange juice that you get on the shelf is six weeks old already from the processing. So the, even if you buy Miller Pesach. But people ask me all the time about this. They, they grew up not drinking orange juice. But if orange juice has an OUP or an OK last year, there was even with the OKP on it. Uh, yeah, the Tropic Hand. But it's a joke. They don't. Uh, they just look at it and know there is no problem. And so, you know. Uh, 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 because it's Shomer the Pesach. Uh, what I'm, not, I'm not hearing from you is, is what's the distinction between something like Kittyus where also really the reason <laughs> that's a question one versus one of his other okay I'll explain Kittyus like your fish and or, or the chicken Kittyus the Rishonim learned many Rishonim learned the Kittyus Zeta was because there, were, when there was a hunger a few times in Europe I don't know if you know history Europe suffered a few times in history great hunger. Europe, not, not the Sfad. The Germany, Poland, I don't know, the, the, the great hunger there was uh, when, when the Irish came to America, there was very often hunger. But they made all year round bread made out of, uh, of kidneys. So people ate bread. So they said they became a meaning not to eat kidneys, even if we don't, don't have a hunger, because and two years from now it might be a hunger. There were many who wanted to scream 20, 30 years ago, maybe she abolished that many. Who was an extra soul that was a rob uh, wanted to say. But we keep the many because, you know, we're still in Gaulus. We don't know what's going to be. We just hunger still be a problem. So that was based on a many because often when there was a hunger, they eat bread. Today I tell people, there are many health people how people don't eat wheat and don't eat this and you go, you go to the store, you can buy, you know, you can buy in the health store, you can buy rice bread, you can have cornbread, you can, uh, that was, that was why many hold the corn is not a problem. You know that corn, why, you know, there was a, one of the Rabbanim a few years ago wanted to ask a, 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 a potato starch. Hamaz al huh? Yeah. Imagine a potato starch. Why? Because it says, why is it different than kidneys? You can make cakes, you can make anything. Theoretically, he's right. Do you know that potato, where does potato come from? From the New World. If you learn, uh, I didn't go to high school, but I remember the eighth grade learning the potatoes, corn, the tomatoes, all is from, and the sweet potato is from the New World. It's from uh, America. This didn't exist in Europe. So the, 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 the kidneys wasn't a problem. That's why many hold that corn shouldn't be a problem. That was the big fight about the corn oil. Many laughed about it. There shouldn't be a problem. So if a word of Bichomish, if it's legal to have fish and milk because of a Christmas day, right? Of fish and meat? Not the, no, they didn't eat no, no, fish. I'm talking the whole year now. If a minute, oh. based on the Bichomish, that says that a minute that we know the reason, sometimes, not always, but the reason, the basis... Yeah, but the Svadim who, who say that it's based on the Bichomish. Correct. So the shach says it's a two cipher. Other right. says the bishay said didn't make it to a cipher. That's a, that's I what. A yeah, it's not a mistake. That's a some svardim okay. The thing is, there were identical talking in the 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 Rabbanim across Europe agreed with it. It's Stamer Rav says that it's not okay to. to Nothing big is that Rabbanim agreed to it. The question: yeah. What the minig was? 
the question when they, Moshe, when they decided not to eat kidneys, was it like in, like in Hungary? In, in, in our small area of Russia, they decided not to eat milk. Does that become... No, no. They didn't, the, the reason they didn't eat milk was a reason. It wasn't they, 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 was, they were machmer of this Qumran. Uh, yeah, they, they said, why don't we... That's a good thing. He, that's a good, very good thing he's saying. Let, uh, uh, let's say milk. And Russia, not Russia, most places, they didn't drink milk in Europe. They didn't have fridge. So where did they have milk? First two days, Yonte, you, you're not milkies. <laughs> you know, who's milkies first two days, Yonte? So they would need a, a milk. They couldn't have milk. They, because the goy gives to the, 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 the animal chomets. So they didn't, that was a problem. So may, they, that's the reason they didn't. They needed fish because it was salted. Yeah, that's for sure. There were people on the own. My mother, Lavanga Zintishtar, tells me they had a cow. They, they drank milk. They gave other food. They gave, uh, it, was all, it was very difficult. It was very, very difficult, but they gave other food. Not always with that. You have to control it. And not always, yeah, not always were they able to control it. Depend on the season, they have enough hay, whatever. It was, it was, it was difficult. Right. The, the, the mini depends why they establish the mini. If, let's say, this is a good motion, the milk. The, sta- the meaning not to drink milk was because milk is a problem. It's not because we just said we worry about milk has chomets in it. Milk was a very simple thing. You, you had milk on Pesach, the cow ate chomets. We cannot drink the milk. We didn't drink the milk. So now the cow in Europe, my, uh, if you could uh, take, make sure the cow doesn't have chomets, you could drink the milk from the cow. <laughs> but let's say, by kidney is what happened. They, uh, from the beginning, decided we're not eating kidneys. And there's Mokhoiks that are showing them. Most of the showing the reason why they didn't eat kidneys, because they were very, there were many years where everyone ate, in the hunger years, bread made out of kidneys. So they said, from now on, if we're going to eat kidneys, people are going to think that it's chomets. They, so maybe they said no matter what, you know, you, that, that's what it really became. So why do they have corn? Is Who world? says many people have, eat corn? Yeah. Many people say that it is, and it's very difficult why corn is also. It's one of the puzzles, because if it's a new world. If if potato starch is okay, so why is corn? Many not any. Why? That's a separate. Why? I never saw bread made of green beans. Go to a health store. You feel me? <laughs> go to a health never. store. <laughs> The beans, they dry the beans. It's not, they first dry it and then they, they grind it. You have to go to the health store, you'll be food that you didn't imagine they eat. <laughs> okay. No, there were years, a whole year they ate was kid bread made out of kidneys. So therefore, they, if came pace of people thought it was chomets, eating kidneys was chomets. So they made, they stopped, we're not going to eat any more kidneys, period. We banned kidneys. Well, actually chomets, so people no, think they right. Ate See, all of it's uh, kitze. Everyone agrees. This is a terrible misquote of the Moshe. Everyone agrees that all of it applies in America too. There's no such a thing. It doesn't apply in America. That's the misquote of the Moshe. The kitze. Let me say a Gemara. The Gemara says in the of a Gezora, a goy has a cow in the barn. He has a chamor, a donkey in the barn. And I tell the guy, I don't even know him, here's a pail, I need milk. Do me a favor, fill up milk. And I'm sitting outside the barn, and I'm smoking a cigarette. They used to think cigarette smoking is healthy. Smoking a cigarette. And then, I'm not watching, but if I would get up, and I could see a milk, the cow, that's good enough. The guy is medicis. What is medicis means? He's afraid that he's going to be caught sounding like a fool. I'm going to, I said, I want milk from a cow, and he knows I'm not allowed to drink milk from a donkey, so a mela, it's, it's, he's going to look, uh, you know, he's, he's going to look like a fool. Not, he's going to lose a customer, a $10,000 customer. He's going to lose my, uh, you know, right here, one-time customer. But he's afraid to do it. A little mercies. So the militia held that the same mercies applies then, applies with the government. People are afraid. If the government come and find that you do it, they will uh, they will uh, close the place. So there is a mirrors. Mirrors means they is afraid of doing it. 
fear factor. Now in South America, I was told that doesn't, there's no fear. Because when the guy comes, you just give him five dollars and everything's give taken care of. A glass of milk in my mouth. But, but, he, but Rabbi Zayed asked me, and uh, can you use a CCTV? That's what you asked me in a So you could use, a, you could use that too? To make a chalabi soul? You can make it? You see the guy milking the cows? On the screen? I don't know why they're not saying the it. Just, there's one problem I told you, they should be, you have to check the vet. I don't know how it works there, you know, that's a separate... Uh, Never look beginning of milk and then you check the vat? You can't, you can't look in the vat. It's a big cheese pub. It's a big, uh, it's a big, 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 but there's nothing, but there's a misquote of Ramosha. The terrible. Now, I want to tell you something interesting. The Svardim, they anyways drank Hall of Stam for different reasons. The Prichodosh and the Pritoya, Pritoya was the Rechaim Kudushot, and the Rebas held that if the Hall of Tom is more expensive, then the guy would never do such a thing. Today, the farms. You know, the machine, no one gets on all fours to milk anything anymore. That stopped in America. I don't know, maybe it's not America. Here, you know, there's a famous story with the Noidi Behuda. The Noidi Behuda went to collect money and he humiliated himself for Fachnos Scholar. So he's telling the Rebbe, the Noidi was a good Lavdot, Rebbe, how could you humiliate yourself for, to just Fachnos Scholar? So he says, Did you ever see how you milk a car? You get a guy all down the floor and milk the cow? I have to milk the man. <laughs> no one gets on the floor to milk a cow anymore. That doesn't happen. So Mamele, the Prichodesh says, we, it's, you don't have to worry at all, you know, because if today, it's even better. Here in America, I watched once, the, the cows go into these uh, stalls, and there's a laser that hooks up to the udder, and you know what I mean? Everything's done automatically. A, a, a chamar doesn't fit into that thing, you know, and, and, uh, doesn't fit anymore. So Kapichodosh, the Svardim, anyways, will make it. But we Ashkenazim never will make it. All the Moshe says is today there's a fear factor. Now the Machmirim held, there is not a, the Machmirim held two things. Who says it's a fear factor? Second, they held the fear factor has to come from a Jew, not from a Goy. That's what the Machmirim held. Nothing to do, you know, I, I hear such funny explanations, you know, especially in Chabad, there's a CEO who comes up. The Rebbe said, you have to see it with your eyes, and it's, it's a din and seeing. It has to do with a, with a fear factor. So, <laughs> Mamele, they held. <laughs> yeah, it has to be, well, it doesn't have to be so ray. The story could be sitting outside, and there's a fear. So, Mamele, once the, 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 he, the other Machmirim disagreed with him, which is the Satma Rebbe, the Babach Rebbe, all the Gdoyim of Chassidish, they disagreed with him. They held. The fear has to come from a what's the name? From a, from a yid, not from a goy, not from a government. That's the machlekes. That's it. What did you say? I don't hear what. It's not the president that makes the fear. It's the local. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He started off this year by saying that that the Lubavitch is really bad. Yeah. So even if the Lubavitch That, that in Aluch is not so simple. My, my, my wife grew up that way, and I didn't allow it. I don't need Gebrach, so Chanuch, I gave all up to my wife, no Gebrach. But she says she grew up in a house, you took off all the matzah from the table. And then, why? There's a din in Shochan that when we wash, we eat a kezai's bread, and we don't make a brach on anything. Why? Because everything is a tuffle to the bread. Now, if you says clearly in Shechon if you clean off all the bread, then you have to make a brach on everything you eat in the meal. Mm-hmm. So you can't have it both ways. If you clear off all the matzahs, then you got to make a brach on it. 
Yeah, that's and today. Yeah, my so wife did the grew up. Yeah. <laughs> my wife grew up, they took off the matzah, and not only they had to put it in the side, they had this homer too, and it, it, they had a special broom. Yeah, you know, and you have to clean it out of the bag when you're eating at the table. Oh, no, they, 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 they had to in a bag and not to sweep up. I'm not, I'm not making fun of any minogim. I'm just explaining. It's a very... I, what I want to explain to people is uh, you could do any minig you want, but what I find when people make the minig into aloha, then they rebel totally. You know, this is the aloha, this is the minig. It's, it makes... Doesn't it calm you down knowing what a minig is now? You look much calmer now. You, you no do. Idea, Rabbi. You have no idea. Yeah, because... <laughs> No, because no, no, I'm explaining why. Because it, it's very nerve wracking. You know, I do different than my parents. Am I a goy? And you know what I mean? Uh, you know, that's what people ask. You, you challenge yourself, you question yourself. Now, you know, it's a big humra. If, if the children do, don't do it, then the children, you know, my grandchildren come. I can't, I can't imagine how the people do with small children, how this works. But they do it. And then I once told, when I married to my wife, I told her, I don't want my house to be neurotic. Because I've heard people, Pesach, it's mamish and neurotic. says, I want to enjoy the meal. And if the ma- I'm asking not to eat gebrochs, but if the matzah falls into the soup, don't panic. And says, okay. And I, I've, I, I've heard, I have friends who told me that it was, it's a nightmare eating a, 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 a matzah. Okay. Anyway, I, I wish I... What's I'm, the difference between uh, clearing the matzah off the table and now that you're trying to have a bracha? What if you just like... Well, the, the, if there is normal bread in the house, it's a big question if you have to make a bracha and everything else. If I have a piece of bread and a piece of meat and I eat the bread first. But there's no bread in the house anymore? Uh, whatever, I had a sandwich, I had a sandwich, I had a bread on the table. No, if, if there's a big machlek, there's many hold that if there is no more bread left, see, here I don't want to bring the matzah to the table. No more matzah. My wife grew up after exercise matzah, the matzah was taken off, at lunch, and no matzah at the table. But it's still in the house. Yeah, but you didn't want to bring it at the table. They didn't allow it there. He has a good patent. You know, you have this uh, thing you put it in. But it's actually a shot at the I only want to bread and I eat it all first. Yeah, that, it's a big problem. I, I have to look it up the mass. It is a big shallot. Many places can hold that you have to make a brochon. That's a big machlaikas. Yes, you eat something at the end. Right, you have to have some on the table. Okay, should we, we have seven minutes. So let me talk about this. I am going to tell you halacha. I'm not going to tell you, you know, what, uh, what you should do. And I know Lubavitch torches the, the oven off. Like Lubavitch had told me, one of the bigs, what's his name, Lady Biggs told me that every year, every two years, they have to buy a new sink because his father torches the sink. <laughs> <laughs> That was saying. And another told me, another Lubavitcher told me, that every two, three years I have to buy a new oven. Now, let me explain to you. A new oven. Let me explain to you about the lochas. Let me explain. It, 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 the, the, the rule of cashing something is keboloi kach It means the same way it went in, the same way you cash it. Now, you, we have an oven. You put food into the oven. The most that you have to worry about food going to the oven, the most is maybe zeya. Zeya means uh, wetness. wetness, sweat that goes up. It, it, now, what it may, you worry about, maybe bread fell onto the oven. You don't put food into the bottom. You put it on the racks. If you really want to be machma, you really, really, really want to be, that's also a huge homer, get new racks. And all you have to do with the oven is, is put it out very, very hot. If it's a self-cleaning oven, it's perfectly it gets kosher. Self-cleaning oven is kosher a million percent. I tell you, barabim, I don't buy, I don't use a torch, and I don't torch anything. I use the self-cleaning oven. What about the 